Milo here, and doing another game real quick. I actually have been doing my Dark Templar rush with Robo from the tutorial video I did where I thought I had like a world record for the fastest build there. Um, but I've been doing this a lot. And I, I've, so far, I've got like a 90% win ratio doing this in the Gold League here. Um, I just, it's, people don't expect it. People, I think, as the higher they get in the leagues, they feel like the less rushes happen, the less cheeses happen. And almost always, your number one, uh, oh, there's one of my buddies saying hi. Um, one of my, oh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, usually when you're playing Pro Tools, your biggest, your biggest worries off the bat are, are they going to cannon rush me? Or are they going to proxy a gateway? Which is, say, you know, your opponent's base is here, and you do something kind of down here and you build just two gateways and then you just run in with some, some early zealots and you kill off whatever he has let me go ahead and uh, put myself on busy um, so anyways I, come, I I build my little pylon like normal and I scout the only thing that delays it me for me a little bit here is that he scouts and I just don't want to put down my tech to keep him all the wise so yeah these guys he stops for a second and they kill my probe big deal Good for him. What this guy does is a one barracks to expand build. He gets a couple bunkers up here. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. I don't want to make my videos three hours long. They're not that exciting. But I still like sharing with the community thing ideas and things you can do. So we'll follow Mr. Little SCV here. See, he's running around checking to see. That's a smart thing. He checks and sees if there's anything hidden, which is kind of too early. I mean, at this point, like, the most I'll have is one other pylon. I'm not really going to have enough money or gas to have any other tech really going down because my Cyberdex Code just is finishing. I don't know what he's expecting to see. But eventually, my little guy's going to catch up to him here. And I'll just bring a couple other guys over, give him a little stab, bring another one, kill him, finish him off. Get the Twilight Council going, go piling over here. Now, you don't always have to have this in your base. I just happen to like it in my base. But some people, they'll go over here. They'll build a pylon here, burn the Dark Shrine here, just in case the Terran happens to scan this area. Because sometimes I'll do that as the Terran, because most people, like, you know, if they're trying to be sneaky, they're not going to put anything right here in their base. They'll put it over here. So, he happens to not scan. But, anyways, back at his base. Let's look at units here. Even amount of even amount of probes and to drones. He's got four marines. Look, he's got a nice little double bunker action. Three barracks. He's spending his money like he should. He's got three guys on each of those gases. I mean, he's doing he's doing what I would do if I was tearing against the toss. I don't know about two bunkers. I think one's just fine. I'd like that extra hundred bucks to try to start my factory a little bit sooner. But he goes and gets the engineering bay, which is to me kind of early. Working on stem. There I am. See, I'm about a, you know, a little bit behind my first one. So I just sent a little a zealot up here just to kind of, you know, just to test the waters. And, like, he's putting a missile turret up. So I guess he's already, he's been cheesed before, I guess. But here I come. Total open area. Nothing to spot this drop. No supply depot over here. No barracks over here. You don't need these barracks here. Use your base to help you scout. So I just send these guys around. Do I get do I get there before Stim finishes? Do I kill it before Stim finishes? That'd be awesome. I think I do. Yeah, I do. That's awesome. I saved Stim from finishing. I'm so happy. So I kill some fly depots. I figure I to fly block them, which I do. Get there before plus one finishes. He has no scans. Down to six Marines. Supply depot. I keep the supply block. He now does have enough scan, and also I just run over. I kill the uh, 
turret, and then it just run away from his scan. He leaves his marines in the, in the bunker. He doesn't even evacuate the bunker. He just leaves the game. Uh, just a great little deal here. You can see, I mean, he's floating more money than me because he couldn't do anything with it, but I really don't have a follow-up after this build. So it's kind of just a one-hitter quitter, I guess. They call it an all-in, I guess is the best way to put it. Like, I, if, he, if he defended this, could I fall back and do something? Possibly, but I just really haven't thought it out yet. Also, I when I had seen out of the corner of my eye when I was up here when it was my vision, I was worried he just might send units to attack my base. So I warped in two DTs over here, just to put them on hold position, just so they could stand there and pretty much try to stop them from coming in. But hope you enjoyed it. There's the the build in action, and if I actually leave the replay, let's go here. Come on. Go to my match history, recent game. Right there versus Doc Yama. If you view, view his profile, he's in platinum. So I am gold ranked and he is in platinum. So there you go. Alright, take care.